morning, class. Welcome to Tulloch High School Navy JROTC. Today we're going to do air rifle safety, uh, and that'll set you up for the air rifle safety exam coming up. When you come back to class, our goal is to get you onto the range and shooting the air rifle, if you choose to do that. If you don't want to, it's okay, but we want to give every cadet the option to do that with, of course, parents' permission. All right, in this air rifle safety, we're going to cover the biggest thing is is um, muzzle action trigger. Okay, muzzle action trigger. So I put map on there, but I meant mat. So maybe I'm looking at maps at this time. The couple of air rifles that you may shoot or see is this one right here. It's a daisy air rifle. It's a pump action air rifle. This is the one we're going to use for the safety lecture today. Uh, but the other air rifles, let's say you're a really good shot and you want to go to the air rifle team. Then you'll go ahead and shoot this air rifle here, and this is the one that we use at almost all the competitions. It's kind of heavy, but let's say you were little. Uh, this year we got in some different air rifles, and these air rifles are right here, the T200s, which is an option to shoot too. So I'm just going to show you all of those different ones. But the biggest thing that we have to think about when you think of any kind of a weapon, anything that shoots a projectile out the front, is you have to think about safety. Okay, everything that shoots a, a projectile can hurt you. It might not necessarily kill you, but it can hurt you. So the idea is to, to understand some of the basics of that. The muzzle, just to give you an idea, is the end of the barrel. It's what it's what the projectile goes out to. When we talk about muzzle action trigger, the muzzle is, is where it's pointing. If you take the muzzle and you point it at something and it's loaded and it's all ready to shoot, it will shoot at that point. If I don't point the muzzle at you or I don't point the muzzle at the, tar muzzle at the target, it won't hit the target. It's pretty simple. If I always keep it up, then guess what will happen? And it goes off accidentally, and we'll talk about accidents in a minute. The, the pellet's going to go up in the air. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's not going to shoot anybody. It cannot accidentally hit you. It's impossible. Action. That's this part right here. This is where you put the pellets in. In a rifle, that's where you'd put bullets in. In a pistol, that's where you'd put bullets in. But this is called the action. So if the action is open and not closed, it can never shoot. So if I pull this out, this is the CBI, clear barrel indicator. If I pull it out and I have the, and I have the action open and the safety is off, the safety's right here, and I have it off and I pull the trigger, nothing happens. It doesn't work, it's a mechanical interlock. So if the action is open and the muzzle's pointing away, nobody could get injured. It's impossible. Well, let's say I accidentally pointed at something. I accidentally close the, the uh, action. I accidentally take the safety off. And then I accidentally have loaded it. Okay, if I don't put air in it, nothing can happen. But what if I decide to put air in it, accidentally of course, and then I point it at something, I, got the, I accidentally put the safety off, and I accidentally go inside this trigger guard and pull the trigger, <gasps> oh my goodness, you could actually fire the weapon. So, and again, that was simulation of having a round in there. I didn't have one in, just for your own idea. So. Accidents. Accidents can't happen if you break the chain of safety at any point. It can't happen. So if I never pointed at someone, I could never shoot someone. If I never loaded, I could never shoot someone. If I never close the action, I could never shoot someone. If I never take the safety off, I can never shoot someone. If I never cock it, with, uh, put charge it with air, I can never hurt someone. If I never put my finger inside the uh, trigger safety and pull the trigger, I can't 
hurt someone. So those are all the safety rules. You have to violate every single one of those rules to hurt somebody. So you can see accidental firing, there is absolutely no excuse for it at all. So how are we going to mitigate it? First of all, we're going to describe what the rifle is. Okay, this is a Daisy 887. We ha it's very simple. It, this is the basic rifle that most people start off shooting here. So this is the barrel here. So this is what the projectile goes out, and then it goes out the muzzle at the end, and then this here is the front sight. As we look back, go further down, this is where the action is, so we call it the action. This is the rear sight, and it's, a, it's a, considered a peep sight. And then this right here is the stock. This is the butt of the rifle. This is the trigger guard. This is the trigger. This here is called the charging handle. And then we also can put a sling with this, and this is where you would put the sling and sling swivel on at this attachment point here. But we're not going to show you that today. Does anybody have any questions on this? Okay, good. All right, so what are we going to do with this? First, we talked about safety. We talked about muzzle action trigger. Um, we talked about the clear barrel indicator. Anytime the rifle is sitting down and it's not being looked at or not being taken care of, uh, you put the clear barrel indicator inside here so that it makes sure that the uh, make sure that the barrel is clear. So if I'm gonna have some difficulty with this, but we'll get it eventually. So if I have this down, anytime the rifle sits on anything, it has a clear barrel indicator. Now I can set the rifle down. Now if I'm way over here. I can look at that and say, oh, it is empty, There's no, it's not loaded, it has a clear barrel. I can see that from all the way across the room, so it's no issues. You know that these are clear because they have clear barrel indicators inside them, so you know they're empty. So if I'm going to take this rifle and I'm going to shoot the rifle, the first thing I do is I remove the clear barrel indicator. Step one, that's empty. The second thing that I'm going to do with the rifle is simple. I'm going to charge the air. So I'm going to put air in the rifle. All the way out and then all the way closed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pellet in. I'm simulating putting a pellet in. Pellet simulation. There is no pellet in there. And then I'm going to close this at that point. From there, I'm going to make sure if this is downrange, I'm going to make sure that the rifle is pointing downrange, not at anybody. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the safety off. The way the safety works on this is it's a push button here. If you see a red line, that means it's ready to shoot. If you see a black line, it's not ready to shoot. So I'm going to go ahead and push it to red. Ready. At that point, I'm going to aim down at the target. I'm going to look through this side here which is the peep sight, and through this sight here at the target. So it's going to look something like this for offhand. I'm going to look here, and then I'm to, once I'm pointed at the target, I'm going to put my finger on the trigger, and then slowly I'm going to pull back, holding my breath, until it shoots. As soon as I do that, I'm going to take my finger off the trigger, point the rifle up, pull back and then I'm going to go ahead if I'm going to put the rifle down I'm going to put my CBI back in the rifle again and then I can set the rifle down and follow further instructions now a couple other air rifles that we have here for example we have this air rifle here this is a Crossman it's very simple this is a little bit different. Again, it has the same thing. It has a CBI. It has the muzzle. It has the front sight. It has the action. It has a rear sight. And here you cock it here. This is the cocking lever here. So if I'm going to cock it, I pull it back. 
I would simulate putting the putting the pellet in, and then I would close it, and that's all there is to arm it. Now this one's ready to go. This safety is a little bit different. It has a little lever here, so the front lever is the actual safety portion and locks the safety. So to take the safety off, you just push it forward, and now it's ready to shoot. So now what I do is I would aim at my target that I have down here. I look through the rear sight, through the front sight, finger goes onto the trigger, and again, nice smooth pull, and shoot. Take your finger off the trigger, pull the bolt back until it clicks, and then you can put your CBI back in again, and then it automatically charges its air. And finally, the T200. This is the T200. It's a bolt action, which you might see at home at a rifle at home uh, if your parents are shooters. Again, you pull the clear barrel indicator out, set it down. You would put your pellet in here, in this point here, simulate, put it in, simulate, and then you'd close the bolt. And then you close the bolt like that. And then at that point, now you're prepared to shoot. Again, a little bitty rifle looking through. And you shoot the air rifle. And you open it back up again. Pull the bolt back till it cocks. Put your clear barrel indicator back inside. And now, as you see, they are all done. Alright, so what are we shooting out of this? We're shooting pellets. And the pellets are only this big. There. They got a little flat head on them, and they have a little opening at the back of them right here. And when we shoot them, what they do is they end up looking like this. That's how hard they shoot when they hit the target. Now the target is 33 feet away, and that's what it does to the targets. It, it smashes in there. These are made of lead. What does lead mean? That means when you're done handling them, you don't lick your fingers in between shots. Otherwise, you eat lead. Now, obviously, if you're less than four years old, you could have some issues if you lick lead. Uh, older people, not so much, but it's gotta be safety issues. Again, wash your hands when you handle anything. You go outside, you wash your hands. You play on toys, you wash your hands. You handle lead pellets, you wash your hands. It's really simple. How do you wash your hands? You put soap, you put water, you go rubby, rubby, rubby for 20 minutes. All right, these are the targets that you'll be shooting at 33 feet. Right now, we're at about 10, 10 feet, so about twice as long or three times as long as this. Now, these are the targets. Uh, there's 10 targets on here that you'll be shooting. If you look at the very, very center, there's a dot about the size of a pinhead. That's the perfect 10. Just hitting the target gives you about a four. So the idea is, as you see, that these are very precise shooting, so there's very precise shooting techniques that we'll cover at later dates when you, when you come in and we'll talk about those in different lectures. But the idea is, Safety, safety, safety. If you have a doubt or if you have a question or if you are not sure, raise your hand. I am the range safety officer when we shoot. I will answer your questions. If something doesn't work the way it's supposed to, stop what you're doing, raise your hand. And I'll say something like, what? And then you go, sir, my rifle's not shooting. Oh, okay. And then I'll walk over and help you out and figure it all out for you. Okay, the idea is to never do this. You're shooting this way, bang, 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 bang. All of a sudden you have a problem. Sir, I have a problem. No, I don't want to see that. I will kick you off my range. You'll get a boot in the bottom saying no. I won't really boot you in the bottom. I'm just saying that as a simulation. Okay, so the idea is always understand your muzzle is always either pointing down range or pointing up. Those are your two choices. The reason why we don't point it down, like hunters, a lot of hunters point them down all the time. The reason why we don't do that is because of ricochets. And we don't want to ricochet and do stuff like that. 
Never put your finger on the trigger unless you're ready to shoot at that point. Okay, that's the only time your finger's ever on the trigger. And I've seen a couple of times, I swear, you know, if you don't follow the procedures, what you do is some people will load it first and close it, and then they will cock it. Well, what happens is, is sometimes the cocking is hard, so they'll open it up like this, and they'll be like, ah, oh, they're struggling, they're struggling, and they're like, ah. Oops. What? So I just shot the ceiling. What? Oh my gosh, get off my range. All right. So those are some really big safety features. Remember for this rifle and for the testing purposes, what you do is you take the rifle, you remove the CBI, and then at that point you charge the air, then you put your pellet in, and then you take your safety off while you're aiming downrange at the target. Okay, always think safety first. Now, what if somebody hands you a rifle at like this? What do you tell them? Whoa, open up the, open up the uh, action. And they'll go, oh, sorry about that. Put your CBI in, and then they'll be like, but I'm having problems putting the CBI in. As you can tell, it's not easy, especially on these ones. You have them put the CBI in, and then once the rifle you know is safe, you can say, okay, I'll take it, and then hand it to them. You are also a range safety officer. If you see anything unsafe, yell, stop! And at that point, everybody's finger should come off the trigger, and you stop. Stay where you're at, don't move, and then we'll identify what the issue is. Does everybody understand? You are a safety officer. You are our first line of defense. I am the last line of defense, okay, and that's the way we need to look at safety. You are responsible for you, and you help me be responsible for everyone else by, by performing safe weapons handling procedures. This may shoot a pellet, but it can hurt. If you practice what I'm teaching you today with any weapon that you ever see laying around, you will always be safe and you'll never have an accident. May we always prepare, or we always have the thought of every weapon is loaded until you prove otherwise. So treat every weapon as it's loaded. Never point it at somebody unless you intend to shoot that person. And, our, and, and so you've got to make sure that you are safe, safe, and safe. All right. Thank you very much.